So in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to change a photograph into a painting or something similar in Photoshop CS4. First off, what you're going to do is, with your picture open, you'll want to duplicate it. Now with the duplicated layer selected, you'll need to get to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. You don't need to do it too much. Probably around two for the radius. Now what you need to do is go to filter, stylize, and find edges. It'll give you this. After that, it's just a case of pressing Control, Shift, and U on the keyboard to totally desaturate it. After that, you can do one of three things. You can set the layer to multiply, overlay, or screen. For this tutorial, I'm going to set the layer blending mode to overlay. And you'll get this. Already it's starting to look like a picture or painting. From here, you just need to set the opacity a little bit lower. You're going to press Ctrl, Shift, and E on the keyboard to merge those together. You're going to get a paintbrush. Soft one, rather. Probably around 200 pixels. And just paint away the edges to leave a wide border. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's supposed to look like a painting. After you've done that, you will need to create a new layer. Fill it with white, go to filter, texturize, and texturizer. With texturizer selected, you can select whether you want the texture to be canvas, brick, sandstone, whatever. We're going to focus on canvas. You can set the scaling and relief to however you want. Then click OK. You're going to set that to multiply. And if you can see now, you have a kind of a grain to it, a canvasy grain. And that should be done. There's nothing really else that you need to do. However, if this doesn't satisfy you, you can just go back to when you didn't have the new layer and just your picture. And instead go to filter, texturize again, then texturizer. Then you can click on sketch and water paper, which will give you a different outcome. Ultimately, you could go to Filter, Texturizer. Click on Artistic, and then Watercolor. This will also change it. So I hope this has helped. Until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.